So I am finally doing an update on Miss Betty Sue, my royal jumping spider. So I've decided to film this in my bedroom just because the reptile room is far too loud and I don't want to have to turn off the fans for the geckos. If you can see my Grogu duvet cover, yes I'm an adult but um, today I wanted to do this little update on Betty and also answer some of your questions she has now just gone and hidden she is just here and what's interesting is I originally filmed started to film this video the other day before my batteries died and she was hidden in her Groot hide so um, this is a little hide I designed and printed for her she didn't use it for ages and then one day decided this is her home and she absolutely loved it and I think it's just a nice tight space for her um, by the way with the enclosures and Betty she is from Spooder Nest I'll leave the link below and any of the 3d printed stuff you see in here I have printed myself we have an Etsy store called the bearded shrimp and we kind of specialize in jumping spider stuff we actually have a new Halloween set out with a pumpkin a ghost and a coffin but yeah we do quite a bit of stuff for jumping spiders if that is something that interests you I figured though I would show you some footage that I've captured over the last few months of owning Betty and answer some of your questions so obviously when I first got Betty she was absolutely tiny I decided to actually remake this photo and you can see the size difference now that's just in May to August but since then she's had a fourth molt so she's got even bigger and that's one thing I've noticed like with reptiles they will shed and a baby you will notice their pattern will change you'll notice they get a little bit bigger with jumping spiders it's really noticeable that they've got bigger um, and usually once she's molted she will come out and she'll look a little bit skinnier i do try to feed her just before she molts like i offer her food um and someone did actually ask me whether they leave a replica molt behind with them and they do if you're not expecting it it is kind of scary because you're like is my spider dead <laughs> um but i actually managed to capture this photo of this perfectly preserved helmet as it were of betty's so you can see like that looks just like her and there's little eye caps that you can kind of see through so that is really cool i actually left her third molt in here so i'll try to get it out see what we can see so this is part of her fourth molt i just discovered that because that was in the groot so she did molt inside <laughs> baby groot's head and the third molt is in here so you can kind of see her head there it wasn't as good as the fourth one the fourth one was like the best one i've seen now if you're wondering how are you meant to know when your spider's about to molt um it's literally like they start to form this much thicker web and they just don't really move from it very often like if you miss down the tank they'll come out and have a drink and it's really cute and you still kind of want to offer food because they might come out and eat it they also get hydrated from the food so um it's it gets fairly obvious that they're going to molt but i would say she stays in the web for like a week or two before so i'm always waiting and i tend not to disturb her or handle her around that time just because i don't know she might be feeling kind of delicate I love that I'm talking about this as if like I've owned these for years this is literally my first ever jumping spider but um, I love to absorb information especially about new pets I'm keeping but some recommendations to other channels that also do amazing videos uh, tarantula cat tarantula collective you know they I learn a lot from them as well so another question I got is do you need a food or water bowl so you don't really want a water bowl because they can drown they can actually drown in a droplet if the droplet is too big and they're too small so I just use a really fine mister I actually got this like pump mister from Ikea it's like a glass one it's quite cool um and yeah that's all you really need to do on the side of the tank food bowl wise I would definitely recommend one so of course we make one on Etsy like an arboreal magnetic feeding platform which you could put high up with your spider because a jumping spider isn't really going to be rummaging around on the floor for food so much and since I've been struggling to find blue or green bottle flies I have been offering more like mini like microscopic millworms waxworm pupae stuff like that and the bowl comes in really handy when i first got her she did have fruit flies in there so she would eat from there she was also small enough that she would actually make a little nest in there so that was really cute since getting bigger the other night i actually left a waxworm pupa in there 
And what I found with Betty is she will go down to her bowl and if you've left something in there, she will just eat it. Like, the pupil's technically alive, so it probably wiggled a bit, but I found her just like sucking on it like a frube. So do you get frube yogurts in like North America? They're really nice, but basically she was just, yeah, she filled up. And that's another thing, like jumping spiders, like you'll notice their abdomen will get bigger when they eat. So someone did ask, is there a way of gauging whether they're meeting their nutritional needs, if you're feeding them enough? And yeah, they'll look skinny if they haven't got food. Once they've filled up, they will have a big booty and um, it's quite obvious. Although I will say the other evening, she did look pretty big. And then I found her walking around with an old, mini mealworm that she'd already eaten must have found it carrying it around so i gave her a new one because i was like oh you must be hungry so it's quite interesting she'll do that but um yeah it can be quite obvious if they are on the skinny side or looking nice and plump someone also asked does owning one live up to your expectations i think they exceed it because i was really interested in getting a jumping spider I wasn't sure how well I'd be able to handle them, but I got lots of tips and tricks from care sheets, YouTube videos, TikTok videos, um, and actually handling's really fun. But one thing I didn't expect is to feel so connected to a spider. She's so animated, and when you walk in the room, she'll turn around and greet you, you know? Like, well, she's probably like, whoa, what is that? But it feels like she's greeting you. <laughs> and you just... I don't know, she's just so animated and I know a lot of people who follow me on sort of Instagram, Facebook and that have said I don't like spiders but this is a really cute spider and I am considering getting a jumping spider and I think that's like the same with me like I've never really been interested in keeping spiders or tarantulas um, but there's something about a jumping spider, it's just too cute. I think it could be a gateway arachnid where you're like, oh, I'll just get a jumping spider and next thing you know, you know, you've got like a goliath tarantula. <laughs> so beware. But um, I am definitely considering having more in the future. They are just so fun, so cute and I love also decorating their enclosures. Someone did ask whether I am scared of her biting me. I actually never really crossed my mind because I figured she's too small to really do any damage. And also like the other day I was saving a bee from drowning and it stung me. And I imagine that hurts far more than like a little jumping spider bite. However, since her last molt, she has these purpley pink fangs and I know that's how you can tell if they're male or female so if you didn't know males are generally black with like turquoise fangs and girls are usually brown with pink purple fangs but they can alter they can look more prominent they can look brighter and since this molt she has just been flashing them about they look fabulous so um that's another really cool thing to see after every molt it's like oh what's going on one thing that has remained though is she does have a pumpkin butt it looks like a jack-o-lantern to me on her butt um just she has amazing coloring Someone also asked what temperature she needs to be kept at. So 26 to 32 degrees is sort of what they'd experience in the wild, I believe. But they will do fine at room temperature, 21 to 25 degrees, which is kind of perfect in my reptile room because it can get kind of warm in there. And she is at the highest point in the reptile room. She's on top of Gizmo's enclosure. Probably some of that heat from the enclosure rises up a bit and heat rises in general. Um, so I haven't had an issue with that. It'll be interesting to see if she slows down in winter, but generally that reptile room doesn't get particularly cold. One thing I will say is I remember Tarantula Cat saying she wouldn't recommend using a heat mat with jumping spiders. I don't know if that's a controversial take <laughs> uh, or that's just general what people believe with jumping spiders. So I'm not going to be using one with her. What I do definitely use and would definitely recommend is an LED light. These guys like it bright. And if you watch my video of my first week of owning her, she wasn't quite as active or hunting as well until I got that light. I did order it, I think, before she arrived and then it eventually turned up. But yeah, a bright light they love. And let me know below. So if you own jumping spiders, which is your favorite type? And if you don't, 
Are you now considering getting one? Has Betty convinced you that jumping spiders are cute? Or do you like to just watch from afar but not actually own one? But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this update. I do wanna do more videos on Betty, even if they're just short little ones, so like, Betty cleaning her eyes because I did a reel on that and it was so cute but I wish I did it with my macro lens so you could see up close maybe her eating or showing off her fangs or just doing something cool I just want to add a few more cute little jumping spider videos to YouTube so over the coming weeks or months you may see that and if that's something you'd be interested in please boop that like button but yeah thank you for watching guys and goodbye